another one which is quite useful is the so in the past all the sequence get in the gym then with the information right but they don't have the information about that specimen mm. like the registration number photo is not there so recently there's a new database it's a board system it's name of mm. barcoding of life yeah. so here so all the sequence in gym band, uh, all the sequence here also in the gym band, but here they also have a uh, uh, more data for the specimen mm. not only the similarity they show you the picture of the specimen so just an example so i can go to the identification so i can test here yeah okay so similar things okay oh yeah see. Okay. <laughs> yeah so I'll show you some result So I can create on this and see the different image. Yeah, this is oh, mm. beetles. Yeah, beetles. So you can see they have a sample number, the taxonomy, specimen detail, when this is collected, the sequence, the barcode, the data, and also the map. And you have the image also. The gym then only have the sequence information, but they don't have the specific information. So the sequence you get, you can just plus and find the similarity. Or you want to reconstruct the phylogenetic tree that I show you, the relationship tree. Yep, that's all I did for the sequence part. So this is how we can keep all the sequence. something like this. So the snail picture, taxonomy, the map. Mm. Okay, everything is here. So if I want to do analysis, I can just pick up okay, this one, this one, and this one. I want to do analysis, right? So there are some analysis you can run in a proper software in your laptop, but this one is good enough. Mm. So you can just choose the specimen that you want, then create this one. Then you can build the tree, then they will automatically generate a tree. So it's done already. So it's done already. Mm. So this is two. I just have to choose four, right? So we, then we construct a relationship based on the sequence. Mm.